Hi everyone, Eileen here. Okay, it's uh, it's the weekend, so I've got another Lavinia Stamps video tutorial to share with you, from me to you. Thank you for being with me today. This is the card that I'd like to make, and it uses the fabulous stamp, Moments Like These. And I think you'll agree, she looks very relaxed. Let's go then. I have an A4 sheet of multifarious cardstock in white. I've folded it, creased it and cut it to a 14 centimetre by 14 centimetre square. And I'm starting off with some Sweet Poppy stencil, stencil tape. Can't use masking tape for this, it's too harsh. So a stencil tape and I'm just taping up the bottom of the card. I'm using a tent fold uh, shape for my card so I've got it on the side just so that I can do the panel and it's easier to stretch the tape over this way. Like so. And then this one that isn't actually quite long enough so start again. They're not long enough. Okay. Right, as you were. Away we go. That's better. Press it down firmly. And that one will go right next to that. Remove the first one. Down again next to the last one. Stretching it slightly as you go across. Then it will find its own level. Remove that one. Make sure this is really pressed firmly down. And I've got a nice panel at the bottom, about two inches at the bottom of my card. First ink is Selvage Patina. Absolutely fabulous colour. And I understand Ranger are bringing out another colour this weekend. So looking forward to that. I'm using a makeup brush and one of the largest that I have. Because I've found that the ink goes on very quickly and the blend is beautiful. I want to protect my work from my fingers. So a piece of copy paper so that I can hold it firmly and then just circular motion, gentle pressure, not too heavy. Taking off some of the ink if you need to. So firmer pressure up the top area and then as I go down towards the bottom, I'm re relaxing the wrist even more so that it's uh, the brush is just skimming over the surface of the card and it gives me a fade out look, which is what I'm after at the bottom. So darker ink at the top, paler at the bottom, and gives a fade out look, adds a bit of interest. That's that. Next, swing the card around. Add more interest. This is a Lavinia Stamps White Orbs stencil. It's a series of circles, as you can see, and I'm using the smaller ones for this. Placing it on my card. Orange makeup brush. Wild Honey Distressing. And just randomly doing a few circles. just to add a bit of interest, like so. That will do. And remove the tape. Put 
put it round the right way. Quick blast with a heat gun. Got a bit of stray ink here. Get rid of that. That came from the fingers. Terrible. <laughs> Next is to draw in my circles. Now I did use a black ink on one of the cards that I made using this design, but I found that the black ink circles that went through her body, it looked a bit odd. Um, you could see the circle going through the body and that wasn't the look that I wanted. So um, I'm using now a black polychromous pencil and then if I get lines through the, the image of the fairy, then I can smooth them out by blending in with more of the black pencil. You can use any crayon you like. It doesn't have to be polychromous, but I advise you use a crayon rather than black ink for these circles. And the circles are moon masks from Lavinia Stamps. Starting off, you get three positive images and three negative images in the set. There's a very small one, one slightly larger, and one really large. So starting off with the really large one, the biggest, and popping that down just away from the edge slightly and up from the bottom again, just under half a centimetre up from the bottom. So well over here on the right hand side and then taking my pencil lightly just draw the circle right the way round that's one and then taking the next one and i'm popping it inside and uh, making sure that half of it is in the white area half in the blue area but it's over a bit to the side like so. Maybe not quite half in the white area, just down a little and then draw around that one. Okay. And the finally, the smaller one. And that one goes on the outside so we have like that. So a bit in the white area, the majority of it in the blue area. There we go. So I'm happy with those. Next is the stamp. And uh, I'm using this, as I've said, moments like these. It's a gorgeous fairy. And there's Fine Claire Nocturne. Plus my stamping mat. You can use the stamp press if you feel more comfortable with that. Just take this and get any surplus stray pencil bits away. Gentle tapping. This is quite a juicy ink pad. It's quite new. It's a solid image, so just making sure that she's well covered with ink. But there's no surplus ink flying around anywhere. Nope. Pop it over to the side, or oh, shall I? No, I'm leaving it this way, maybe. I'm aiming for her feet to go into this circle here. And if you aim for the feet into there, I think you will find you've more or less cracked it. Uh, 
There we go. Yes, she's lovely. Now, you will see some of the marks of the circle going through her body. So I'm just smoothing that out by using a circular motion with the same pencil that I use for the circles. And that brings her body up. I mean, it's more opaque, but you can't see the circle lines going through because obviously you want to give the illusion that she's in front. <laughs> so anywhere that the circle lines are, just blend them out. Take your time. It's well worth it. And trust me, when I drew the circles with black ink, I could not get rid of them from her body and it looked rather strange that this fairy had lines going through. So I thought, hmm, there's always got to be a way to solve it. And I think in this instance that I found it. Right, I'm happy with that. And the, But then using a black ink pen... I'm just adding a bit of interest with some dots. So I have one there. Don't overdo this. I did do a card before and I put all these dots on and it looked awful. Too many. Story of my life. Five. So I have another. It's just three here. And the dots can be different sizes, so I'm going to do a fairly large one here. And then come out the other side with a couple of small ones. One on the intersection of the circles there. Another one of the intersection there. And then around this side... five there and I think actually I do need another couple up here like so I think that I'll leave it there I don't think I want to overdo it to be anymore so that will be fine now, the final thing is a stamp with love. Um, this is from a set that's just been released onto the website. And it's a set called Heartfelt Verses. And you get with love, just for you, birthday wishes and with love and sympathy. Very useful stamps. You'll find them on the website now. And I'm just going to stamp that in Versafine Claire turn, gentle tapping, and fingers crossed this stamp goes on cleanly and it is straight. I'm just warning you though, if it isn't straight, no, I'm not making the card again, okay? <laughs> I'm hoping it won't be because I'm pleased with this. So just above the blue line there, down. Press up. No, that's fine. Whew. <laughs> so down a bit. Yes, you can see okay. Let me get the board in. So there she is. And I think she's rather lovely. And I enjoyed making that. So I'll see you again tomorrow. I'm going to do quite a colourful card. After that blending that I did today, I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to do some more tomorrow and make quite a colourful card. Not sure of the design yet, but I'll think of something. Have a nice day. Thanks for looking. Bye for now. <laughs>